I'm Dennis Ballwieser. I'm a trained physician and journalist and one of the managing directors of Wort und Bild Verlag. We are a German publishing company focusing on health information for lay people both in print and digital. When ChatGPT first was launched in 2022, we thought about how we could incorporate AI into our work here as a journalist. Being journalists, we had initial concerns about AI and talked about it a lot because people were first thinking about how AI would replace them. In health journalism and healthcare generally, it is so important to get the facts right and use AI in a way that is unable to hallucinate. We discovered U.com pretty quickly because U.com was the AI company that had built research and citation models into their product almost from the start. And with U.com it was fascinating for a rather old publishing company coming from print publications from Germany to be able to talk to tech guys from the valley in the United States who are actually doing this AI stuff. And that opened our eyes and it enabled us to ask more questions in a way so that our experience is way better than if we would have trained ourselves. We are currently doing two projects with U.com. One where we put U.com into our journalistic product for the end user and then a different set where we try to give our journalists all the sets of U.com's uh, abilities to streamline their work process. We figured out pretty quickly that we would be able to streamline the journalistic process from say one and a half days of work to maybe one to three hours. So a huge gain in time that people can spend in producing more content. The reaction from our journalists was from early skepticism to enthusiasm how they can incorporate U.com and AI into their daily business. So I have two amazing use cases that people came up with in our team. One colleague is using AI for streamlining the literature review down to a matter of minutes instead of hours of reading material. And another colleague is using it to photo capture the text captions and only picking the best captions for the photo that he is using. So my advice to peers watching us today would be to do three easy steps. Start with a small project and start early without thinking about it too much. Give your colleagues the ability to actually use AI and ask questions and talk to the people who are building the AI machines to learn the most of.